here with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. Six former Surgeon Generals and senior military chiefs have contradicted claims by the Trump administration that allowing transgender people to serve would require expensive sensitivity training. They say most staff have already received training on the relevant issues. A dentist in Washington DC has been sentenced to over 16 years jail for sexually assaulting five male patients while they were sedated. Bilal Ahmed, who has a wife and five children, was also convicted of sexually assaulting a male employee. An inquest into the death of a transgender woman has heard that she had made a suicide pact with three other trans women who were all serving time in a male prison. Jenny Swift pulled out of the pact before she was found hanged at Doncaster Prison in England last December. The US Conference of Catholic Bishops has issued a letter denouncing marriage equality and denying transgender identities. Evangelical, Greek Orthodox and Southern Baptist leaders also signed the letter, which has been denounced by other church organisations. And finally, a new LGBT radio station launched yesterday in Tunisia. Shams Radio offers discussion programmes on political, economic and social issues with an LGBT focus. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.